What's up everybody, today I've got it for you. 2020 Topps Allen & Ginter. It's out in retail stores if you can find it. I noticed that Topps had a little tweet out that said like, get ready for Ginter or something like that. So I ran to the bad part of town to Target to see if I could find any and they had it on the floor. So I grabbed a couple of each. I wanna show you each one. We're gonna look at some odds. We're gonna figure out if there's any value in this retail stuff. And I'm also gonna do a value series, so stay tuned for that. If you're ready to watch, then I'm ready to rip. Let's go! Okay, so here are the different formats. If you're not familiar with Allen and Ginter, just a little bit about it. It's a throwback to the old tobacco style cards. There are other cards than just baseball in here. And the hobby boxes feature, you get three hits and it can be either an auto, a relic, or a rip card. Now the rip cards are really desirable in this series. And another, another thing that sets this apart from other releases is it has the little minis. And there's a variety of different parallels of the minis that you can get. You can get uh, black and white, black border, no number, Brooklyn back, uh, the, the little framed minis, glossy, wood, stained glass, uh, metal, they're numbered to three. The, the framed mini cloths are numbered to 10. So there's all kinds of good stuff in here. And it's actually a really popular release. A lot of people look forward to it every year. Let's start on the low end here. So this is a gravity pack. Six cards, and I'm gonna just put the odds on the screen real quick for reference. And well, let's get ripping. So I don't really expect to get any hits out of retail, I never do. So if we do get a hit, it's just a bonus. It's a nice bonus. Okay, so it looks like, here's the design. It's a clean design. A little shadow in the background there, and clean. I like it. I'm a fan. Got some Hall of Famers, current players, rookies, everything. Okay. So right off the bat, we've got a mini and I think that's a special bordered mini. Black and white border or something like that. We'll have to see when we open up some more, but that's pretty sweet. Rod Carew. And we've got an insert, long ball, lore with Lou Gehrig there. That's cool. Check out the back of that. It's got a little story. And yeah, these are these are cool cards. I like them. And it's a thicker card stock than like a flagship. And usually they're in great condition. I mean, you, you rarely see a Ginter card that's got any kind of damage. So I mean, I would assume they grade out pretty well. I have some that should be coming back graded just a few like Tatis rookies and whatnot. So we'll see. All right, next up, so there's two different value packs. We've got the more value as compared to our single packs, 14 cards. And let's get a quick look at the odds and the no purchase necessary if you guys wanna get in on that. There's that. I usually like, my favorite is usually, is usually the hanger box. I didn't see any hanger boxes for this. So as far as I know, these are the only formats of retail that they have. Let's see if we can't get a big rookie in here. I, I do like the design. It's got a little bit of color in the background too. So that's cool. Joey Votto, Seeger crushing this year. Nolan Ryan, that's awesome. The Angels. And another long ball lore with Reggie Jackson. So let me know in the comments below, are you guys a fan of Allen and Ginter? Are you planning on getting a bunch of this? I went a little wild on it last year because I like it. And I'm interested to see what you think about it, especially like the design this year. Okay, so we've got two minis. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a sea anemone. I'm thinking it's a dog from like last year. A sea anemone, wow, that's pretty wild. Behemoths Beneath. So there's, there's different little minis as well. And we got a Clayton Claus mini. Maybe that's a new lucky card. I don't know. These are, I think these are usually a little, a little bit more rare, like these, these weird ones. Digging Deep. So this is another 
insert series with different kinds of gems and there are actually inserts with the gems this year um, or relics that actually feature the gems so that'll be amazing to pull one of those discount trout of course always swimming about discount trout all right so that's the value pack seems like it's pretty good value you get quite a few cards a couple of the minis now, the actual value pack, the three Allen Ginter packs and three exclusive gold parallels. That caught my eye. So this might, this might be the way to go. I don't know yet. I'm new, I'm just opening this for the first time on camera with you guys so you can get my real reactions, my, my thoughts before anybody spoils them with bias. Oh yeah, also short prints, so I didn't even look, but there are short prints. The base set is one to 300, and then anything above 300 is a short print. I don't know that I got any of those yet, but, oh, here's one. Those Dwight Gooden, I think it's, yeah. So there's a short print, I'm putting it on a stand, why not? Got one short print so far, and a handful of minis. I'll keep the minis out here too, so we can see what's, what's up with that, how many you get. So it turns out that that is what I thought it was the black and white border Double check and see what they call that yeah the black border one in ten packs probably a hobby and to get an SP it's one out of 130 oh look at this okay here's our little special pack with the gold borders let's let's open that up let's get right down into it why wait be sweet to pull a rookie out of here a Robert or something Cabrera Chuck nasty and Moncada so those are pretty nice I wonder what kind of value those will hold you know they're exclusive a lot of people collect the minis trying to get the sets and whatnot okay so we already looked at the odds on the back of the pack these are six card packs I wonder if they're the same as the blasters. But I will figure that out and let you know in the value series. Yeah, Bob Gibson, Javi Baez. Okay, Safari Sights. Check that out. That's the hippo. Safari Sights. And last year it had the airplane series like this and it looks like we have skyscrapers this year, the Willis Tower. I'm looking for Bo, and then Robert, and then Jordan, and then Lux. That's my order. Okay, so we've got a skateboarder. I'm not familiar with him, but that's another one of these kind of crazy, different kinds of cards they have in Alan Ginter. Ryan Braun still making a case to be in the set. And here's a mini, Marte. So you get quite a few minis. Another one of the gems, the pink opal. And Ozzy Aldis. Strikerbreaks.com is where you wanna go to get in on the breaks. I'll do a few breaks with Alan and Ginter this year. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I like to do mixers, mix them up. But yeah, go to strikerbreaks.com and subscribe to the website, that way you can be on the email list in case something cool is going on. I do giveaways. I'm going to be doing one soon. Strikers Treasure Chest Volume 3 coming your way. I'm assembling it right now. So if I were you, I would subscribe to the website. Just a little hint of things to come. And Rizzo. Little Rizzo Mini. Debut to remember. That's cool. Will Clark. I know who would like that. Set that aside for you. Nolan Ryan, another one. Did I get any short prints in that batch? Keep forgetting to look. There's a 303 Earl Weaver. And a 347 Tommy Lasorda. And I'm on a Trent Grisham kick as well. I I can't stop. I like 
his cards are so affordable right now. I don't even really want to say it because it's like I have a feeling they're gonna go up, but um, I, you know, I'm not a clairvoyant. I don't know. He's just he's really good. If you don't know about Trent Grisham, just go to Fangrass and look up his stats. Compare him to the to the rest of the league. His WRC plus is way up there. I, he's really good. He's got about as many steals as he has home runs. I think he's got like eight homers, seven steals, something like that. Hit three home runs in one game. I wanted to look at the odds here. Here, let's do a better one that I don't ruin the package of. Blaster odds right there. No purchase necessary as well. So we'll find out what the best odds are for everything. It's a popular product. I can't believe there's this many formats of retail. I was pretty surprised to see them all out there. I thought I was just gonna hopefully get a blaster box. That was my, my goal for the day. Bugging out, Hercules Beetle. Everybody loves the Hercules Beetle. It's just glorious. Gigantic pinchers. Corn stalks down on the farm. Uh, it's a wild product. Something a little bit different for people. And get away from the everyday look of base, baseball cards. The blue whale. Look at the blue whale. Got Gary the goat here. Batting below the Mendoza line this year. Field generals. But he's a field general, so there's that. He's got to get that average up. A little ridiculous. Still got the power, of course. But... People have quite a bit longer of a leash this year. It's a nice Otani, I like that. His average is really low too, but he's at least stealing bases and hitting home runs, hitting some power. Oh, what do we have here? That's gnarly. Where monsters live, the swamp. Look at that. I wonder if that's a black border. I don't know. What do you think? Or is it? Are they all black? We'll have to find out. The long ball, Frank Thomas, and Daryl Strawberry. I like the inserts this year. Long ball lore. I don't know about the down on the farm ones. That seems pretty lame, to be honest with you. Down on the farm. I don't know, guys. But all the other ones seem pretty cool. Another Ryan Braun. Had to talk about him, didn't I? Debut to remember Strasburg? I do remember watching his debut. It was a big deal. I do. Do you guys remember watching Strasburg's debut? Or am I just the only weirdo who remembers that? Who am I kidding? You guys all remember. If you're watching this, you probably remember. Okay, Dave Winfield. I'm really just looking for my rooks. I'm a rookie collector. Another? Nope, thought that might be a short print. Winding down, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. There's a Jordan, okay. That's good. He's on my list of collectible players. That's who I'm looking for. I like that. Get that Robert. The bow. Longo. Tanzanite. Old man Kendrick. Still still out and about. Still playing the game at a pretty pretty high level. Oh, what is this? Oh, no way. I got a relic. Wow. Look at that. Austin Meadows. That's awesome. I'm really happy that I got a relic. A bat relic, too. I like bat relics. I prefer the bat relics. That's really cool. And a Tim Anderson black border. 
Okay, let's go. Come on. Like I said earlier, I don't expect to get anything good out of here ever, really. I like how it has red around there, too. That's cool. Down on the farm, the horse. Bert. Last pack. Dear Lou Bob in here. Thurman Munson and Conforto. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. Hook me up with a like and a subscribe. Join the channel, become a member. It helps support everything I do around here. And I can do more fun things for you. I will catch you later.